Okay, so first of all, the default formatting in Excel is called General, and you can convert any cells into the general format by selecting them and pressing Control, Shift, and the tilde symbol. Now, if I want to change cells into the date format, I can press Control and hashtag. In order to change cells into the time format, the keyboard shortcut for that is Control, Shift, and the at symbol. To change cells into the number format, it's Control, Shift, and 1. And this will change cells into the number format with two decimal places. In order to format cells with the currency format, it's Control, Shift, and 4. And in order to format cells with the percentage format, it's Control, Shift, and 5. To change the cells into the scientific format, it's Control, Shift, and 6. Now, these keyboard shortcuts are sometimes referred to with these symbols instead. These symbols are on the same keys on the keyboard as these numbers, and you just have to press Shift in order to get to these symbols, so it doesn't make a difference what you call it. It's still the same key. Now, you can also press Control 1 to open up the Format Cells dialog box, and this gives you a huge range of options for what kind of formatting you want, especially if you select the Custom Formatting, where you can use one of the default settings or you can make your own custom format. So, for example, if I type in zero, which represents a number, and then I put in quotation marks years, and then select OK, it's changed all of these cells now, so they have a word underneath the letter, but if I select in just one of these cells, you can see that the actual number inside the text hasn't changed. Now, if I press Control 1 again, I can also change the custom setting to add in spaces between the numbers or dashes between the numbers. This is useful if you want to type in things like phone numbers or social security numbers or anything like that. Now there are also other ways of opening up that dialog box. So if I right click and select Format Cells, it will open up that box. There is a, another keyboard shortcut for this. If I select the Menu key, which is just right of the spacebar, and then select F, that will open up the Format Cells dialog box. That's because the Format Cells here has a line underneath the F, which means if I select F, it will open up the box. Uh, you can also open up this box using the Home tab. So if I go to the Home tab and I select this gallery, then if one of the options I want isn't here, I can go to More Number Formats and it will open up the box for me. This will also work if you select this symbol here and it will do the same thing. So there are lots of different ways of opening up this box. Also in the Home tab, there are a number of buttons for commonly used formats. So for example, if I select this one, it will open up the accounting format. There are some small differences between the number format and the accounting format. In the accounting format, there will be a space after the number, and then also between each three numbers, there will be a comma and these features aren't present if I select the number formatting. Also, if I select the accounting formatting with um, currency, there are some small differences between this and the normal currency feature. For the accounting version, the pound signs are on the left-hand side of the cell, and there's a space after each number, whereas if I select the uh, currency formatting, the pound sign is right next to the number and there's no space after the number. Now I can also access these features with the keyboard shortcuts. So if I select Alt and H and then P for example, I can select the percentage formatting 
Also, if I want to increase the number of decimal places or decrease the number of decimal places, I can go Alt and H and then zero to increase the number of decimal places. Or if I want to decrease the number, I can go Alt, H and nine. Now, these buttons can also be pinned to the quick access toolbar. If I right click on here and select add to quick access toolbar, you can see that the comma sign appears up here. So if I select this now, it will change the formatting. This will also work if I select Alt and 4, and it will change the formatting that way as well. I can also add this gallery to the quick access toolbar by selecting this. And now if I go Alt and 5, and I can type in whatever kind of formatting I want, and then select Enter, and it will also change it that way. I don't know why you would want to do it that way, but it's an option if you want it. Now, there are also some ways to copy and paste formatting. So, for example, if I select these cells and go Control C and then select these cells, I can go Alt E S T Enter and it will copy and paste the formatting. Now, this works by selecting Alt and then E, which will open up a tab from a previous version of Excel. Uh, it no longer exists, but you can still access it using keyboard shortcuts. Then if I press S, it will open up the Paste Special box, and then T will select Formats, because this time in Formats, the letter T is underlined. Then I can press enter to select OK and it will change the formatting. There is also a, another way of doing this where I press the menu key and go S and then R. Now this works by opening up the menus bar and then when I press S it selects paste special and then you can see here under other paste options, formatting has an R in brackets after it, which means if I now press the R key, it will paste the formatting. Okay, and that is it.